Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Harry and welcome for you to another Roblox video. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Blender and then how to import it into Studio and yeah, we're going to go over all the controls, everything you need to know about this thing, all the basics, okay? So yeah guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video because it really helps me out, okay? We also have an all new Discord server, so please make sure you go and check that out. Um, not many members in right now, but please go ahead and check that out, it'll really mean a lot. And yeah, it's great to see some people in there. You can suggest video ideas, ask for help, really different things. Talk to me if you want. So yeah, make sure you check that out. Um, and yeah. Oh yeah, guys, one more thing. If you get enough popularity on this video, I'll make some more Blender tutorials, like on cars, some guns, maybe. Yeah, because Blender's really cool, really useful software, okay? So yeah, let me explain why you want to use Blender. Now, guys, every builder on Roblox should use Blender. Now, Blender is a perfect area. Just what it is, is you can freely model. Like here, so you've got a nice rendering render. You can freely model... Uh, all these random things animating if you want to animate and you don't want to use the Roblox one of course you can animate in here honestly it's free will be free forever it's just it's the perfect tool every person should be using it so yeah make sure you go get it so guys start off we're going to go ahead to this little thing in blender.org and we're going to go to download blender okay we're just going to click here and then you should go through all these things okay for me i'm for mac os but yours will be windows if you're on windows etc etc okay okay guys now i already have it downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open it so you can open it how you like i'm just gonna search for it and open it like this okay and now i've already we are in blender now this is what you're gonna see and now you probably won't see anything recent files because well you know you don't have any recent files if you just launched it but yeah what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna click to the side just like that okay now with that we're gonna go ahead and change a couple of settings first of all just so we can make sure that we're all on the same page here so guys, we're going to go edit, and we're going to go to preferences. And down here, I would like you to make sure, select your mouse button left. This is just so it's your default select button, it's sort of a bit better. Um, right is okay for like, I don't know if you're on a, just, just, I don't know. Generally, I prefer left, you can kind of change it, I just kind of prefer to do that. Um, now I'm going to go, yeah, to, yeah, key map again. This is on key map, by the way, guys, if you want to go down there. And you want to search for fly. Now when you look at fly, it will come here. I want you to go ahead and click on this and you want to press um, like shift F, okay? And this is perfect so you can kind of move around a bit better. And when we've done that, we can of course just go ahead and quit that. Now, you may be wondering what to do, okay? So now just to look around, okay? This is not like studio, okay? You need to press down on the middle mouse button, okay? If you don't have it, if you have a trackpad, then you can just kind of swipe to the left or right. Hold it down, okay? I'm doing that now. And now, as you can see, you guys, you can drag it from the left to the right. You can kind of look around, look around like that, okay? Um, up here, similar to the view cube in studio, you can sort of look like fly to different parts. But yeah, as you can see, we can kind of move around like that. If you want to zoom in, you can scroll in and out with the mouse button. So you can kind of go like that and go in and out, just sort of like this. And yeah, that is generally your first controls. Now, if you want to actually do the fly thing, I did before, you press Shift F and you get this little like crosshair and you can just fly around like you do in studio here. You can press Shift and it speeds you up. And yeah, it's kind of cool. You can just look around like this. It's a bit more free to control. When you're done with that, you can just click and there you go, we're back to our basics again. Now everyone, so let's go ahead and let's start modeling, I guess. So to model on Blender is really quite simple. Now, first of all, we're going to go ahead and delete these two things. These are for rendering, so we can just go ahead and delete the light. And here is the camera. As you can see up here, we have this little scene collection where it shows everything in our well, in our scene. We can just delete them. Here, so we now got this single cube. Now, with this cube, now let's just say we've got these little controls on the side here. So one of these controllers moves. You can click on it, and then you can drag from left to right. As simple as that, you can kind of position that. I don't know, just like this, maybe. I'm going to just keep it in the middle. Um, you can also rotate by clicking this and just rotating the sphere. Um, if you want to undo, you can press uh, Command Z or Control Z depending on your platform. Um, scale is just sort of scaling it, um, increasing size, decreasing size, simple as that. And then this one is kind of transform. If you want them all plonked together, which I don't really like, it's kind of good to just keep it like that. And yeah, that is pretty much um, your sort of moving controls. If you want to add some more meshes in, there's this little button up here saying add. If you press on add, and mesh you can let me just say i want to add a circle here we go we just press add and we have a circle let's say i want to add a sphere this time i'll go like this and add a sphere and here we go we have ourselves a sphere now you may be wondering you can't what what's the use if you can just plonk items together like this okay 
and I'm going to introduce you to edit mode. Now, to enter edit mode, you just want to click on an object. So I want to edit this object, and you want to press the tab button, okay? Now, as you can see, don't click anything yet. It puts all of this kind of stuff and makes everything kind of yellow and gives these little dots, okay? Now, let me explain real quick. So there's three different sort of things you can kind of move in Blender. There is vertices, edges, and faces, okay? It's sort of basic shapes, if you kind of get what I mean. So here we have this little dot here is a vertice, the edge of a shape. Um, this line here is a um, edge, so yeah, and then this big flat thing is a face. So like vertice, uh, well, edge, and the face. Now, with those three things in mind, you can actually go ahead and change these things. So if I go ahead to this little move button like we had before, we can click on it and we can just click away, okay? Now if I click on a vertice here, I can then go ahead and move this on its own. Now this is, this is where things get interesting. As you can see, we now have a little movement. Now this is really, really useful. Now you can go like this and sort of morph it around a bit. And yeah, that's sort of how you can kind of move these sort of, well, vertices. Okay, let me just undo this real quick and yeah you may be thinking what else can i do i can do you can do loads of different things here but yeah you can like if you want to you can kind of move this up you can like do something random like rotate it make it make things a bit weird but we can't really rotate it it's not really can't really do that yet but yeah all these kind of things you sort of do okay now let's just say i don't want to uh just move these vertices because i can't click on these edges or the faces so this is where these little three things come in handy here so we've got this little edge tool and we got the face select. So if you want to click, and we're currently on the uh, vertices select here. So as you can see, you can press on this, like edge select, and here we go. Now click on an edge, and then look, we can move the edge, okay? And then let's just say we want to move a face. We can move the face, and we can like, I don't even know, rotate it if you really want to, like make everything a bit weird. Okay, that, that's kind of cool actually. But yeah, you can, you can do that, okay? But I like to keep this on vertices for default. Um, now, if you want to select everything, so like you just press A and then it selects everything. Um, yeah, but now let's say I want to, like, I don't know, make this a bit bigger. So we're going to probably go ahead and I don't know, make an arch or something. So the best way to do this is we're going to click on the top here. Now we can look at this tool here, which is the extrude region. Okay, you can click this. I'm going to guess you can drag it out and drag it like that. Okay, but an easy way to do this is by simply clicking on it. With just normal set and pressing E, and by doing that, we now get this little thing. So we can kind of do that, we can do that, we can do that, and we're just going to sort of extrude it a bit more. At this point, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back in, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our little edge select, we're going to select this edge, and we're going to press E. And as you can see, we can kind of move it around a bit. I'm going to click that, I'm going to click that, do this. As you can see, it's really quite simple. You can sort of, you know put this around it's a really useful creation tool especially for anyone who wants to make things in studio okay we can kind of do that like this I don't even know what I'm doing here I can kind of bring this around and, up and across okay now that is extremely out of place as you can see we've kind of a bit of a weird structure here now let's say I want to connect um, this here so I want to connect this to that down there now doing that is not a good idea okay the best way to do this is select this one hold down shift and select the other one and then press F and as you can see it then joins them very nicely and there we go we've got our strange little thing I guess you can now go ahead and I'm just going to change some things here we can just extrude that out extrude that one out I don't know maybe just um, go ahead and change this we're going to kind of make I don't know maybe a weird shrine thingy uh, I don't know um, E again, we can then bring it up to there and then select that and that and then press F. Just always, you can do loads of different strange things in this, like, I don't know, it's very, very, very useful play thing to do. Like, if you don't know Blender, I wouldn't call you a builder. Um, like, I don't even know, this is the most essential thing for any Roblox builder, like, ever. It is probably the best creation tool. So yeah, here's our little weird structure thing, I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, here it is. And yeah, look, we're gonna go over one more thing, which is gonna make it, I guess you can make it a bit smoother if you want to, is by clicking on this and then going, let's go to face here. And we're gonna press all, we're gonna, and we're gonna go to uh, ed, edge, and then we're gonna press subdivide. And what that does, as you can see, gives everything a bit more 
uh, I guess, verge edges and faces so we can kind of, you know, make things a bit more, I don't know, interesting. So if I want to do that and that and just press F, you can't really do that, it's too far away. But yeah, it's, there's so many interesting things you can do with this software, it's unbelievable. Now you kind of know the basics, you can sort of go ahead and go on your own course. You need this to make UDC. Um, if you remember my UDC video, it was a pretty bad video to be honest, but still it was a video. Uh, you can kind of bring this one up. I'm going to go ahead and use Command F, bring this round, and just, yeah, can, that is our structure. Now, you may be wondering, guys, okay, how do I import this into Studio? I'm here because I like Real Studio and I want to sort of, I don't know, put this structure, okay? Now, the best way to do this is you're going to go to File up here. We're going to press File. I'm going to press Export. And now, there's two different things you can do. You can do an FBX or a Wavefront, what's an OBJ file. I recommend a Wavefront just because I like Wavefront, I kind of use them forever, I've never really used FBXs, but you can use these, these are mainly used for like character models if you want to do mesh deformation and stuff, which I might get onto if this video gets enough, um, like you know, views and likes and stuff. And yeah, we're going to go to Wavefront, we're going to click, and then here we go, we can now go ahead and save someone. I'm going to go to my desktop because I like my desktop, I'm going to name this here, uh, I can't speak, YouTube. Uh, structure just like that and then here we go like that and we're going to press export okay and now when this is done this is all done we should be good to go now okay now we can leave blender and meet you guys in studio okay guys here we are inside of studio and now we're going to be importing this obj now what we're going to do is we're going to go to workspace here i'm going to open up this i'm going to go and add ourselves a mesh part not a special mesh or a block mesh, just a mesh part, okay? Upon adding that, we can then just look where it is. Where is this guy? Wait, where, where have you gone? I think it's going to be up there. Yeah, there we go. You can see where the shadow. Uh, you can bring that to there. And when you've done that, guys, as you can see, you can go ahead and look at this. So, this is going to be our mesh. So, we're going to click on this. And over here, in this little thing that says mesh ID, I'm going to press this little folder icon, okay? Press that. And here we are. We're back in our file. So, we need to desktop. And we're going to go down YouTube structure.obj, click it, and then press open. Okay, upon pressing open, you don't have, to, I always recommend pressing no. Okay, when doing this, as you see, it says importing mesh. And there we go, guys. We have our little strange little, I don't even know what to call this, our structure. Look how weird this looks. Okay, oh my goodness me. It's very glitched. Very, look at that. You can only see the face on one side. Look, oh, so unbelievably bad and glitched. But yeah, here it is. Okay, uh, I recommend pressing double sided because if not, it doesn't really work. Like, okay, like if you turn off double sided, it kind of does a single sided mesh, which is not really what we want. Double sided, you've got to turn on. Um, you can just do anything you like, really. Like, I can make this, um, I can make this slate if I wanted to. Yeah, I can make it loads of different things. It's really cool. Um, yeah, and that is pretty much how to use Blender. Okay, we've imported our little model into Studio. Um, yeah, it's all good. The studio gives it a hitbox as well, which is really nice. Like, I don't know, you can collide with it really nicely rather than having to go through all the issues. You can also go ahead and scale this up if you want. I can make this bigger. It's really easily done. Like, I don't even know. I might even put this somewhere. Look how weird this is. You know, that's not even that bad, you know. It looks like one of those kind of ancient structures. I don't even know what to call this thing. But yeah, there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. It really means a lot. Make sure you subscribe, like, and turn post notifications on. Link down below all the meshes. I really want to see how you do in Blender. Because, yeah. And if you like this video, please make sure you tell me um, over on the Discord server. It's now been launched. So, please don't you check that out. And, yeah, it means, really means a lot. Thank you very much for watching. And that is goodbye from me.